I hope that there would be more parks, of course, to go to a little bit more nature that um, would help us relax during weekends or even during the day. So what I, I want to see in the future now is this place uh, very developed. People who are not living in the shacks anymore, they have their own houses, uh, permanent stands and everything. Uh, because like this is a very cold place like in winter. So people living in the shacks, it's, it's very hard. My ideal um, town uh, would have a low crime rate, uh, high employment rate, with uh, more job opportunities, uh, a solid economy, um, and uh, as a mother of two children, uh, it's important to me to uh, to uh, to have a good um, uh, school system. It should be a city that is ready to cope with any disaster, free from any forms of pollution, capable to all means of transportation and communication, traffic free, crime free free from poverty and illiteracy. I generally think cities are a wrong model of development. They, uh, they suck up too much energy from everywhere and they, I mean, it's happening in the case of Delhi, like it's stopping all the surrounding uh, region from getting uh, developed and there's too much population pressure here. So I don't see how this is a good model of development. I, like to keep expanding the city is ridiculous. So I would like to see Naga City more walkable, safe. Maybe there's bike lanes and environment friendly, sustainable city as we can, where people can live, work and play at the same time. Uh, mobilidade urbana pública, né? Carro só para passeio, final de semana é para diversão, né? As pessoas vão para o trabalho, cumpre o transporte público e usam carro só para diversão, moto, enfim. It will be better from uh, it will be more developed. Uh, it will be more cleaner. The first thing to do is to make an architectural competition where we will have to draw to draw the city. When we finish drawing, we can put regulation and action for the future.